Like and subscribe. Hi, this is Bruce B. Holmes, the last duly elected commissioner in North Henry County. But they said there was no hope for North Henry County. We have shown that we can change a community. We have shown that we can change the perception of a community by simply building out the infrastructure, adding eight foot multi-use trails on each side of the road, supporting education, bringing new parks in the community that are 100% walkable, and introducing our, our community to soccer and lacrosse, and connecting with the school system in the northern portion of the county, working to build out a community garden, and having an aquaponics facility approved, not constructed, but approved near the Fairview Library that would benefit each and every child in Henry County by showing them how to farm and how to grow food organically. Building out the Panola Mountain trails and running those trails over through the middle school and elementary school, through the library, through the aquaponics facility, on to the next phase of the Fairview Road development. Connecting that trail into Henry County and eventually throughout the entire county. That's how you build a community. That's how you move a community forward. That's how you make a community desirable. That's how you create sustainability. And I always have had this vision of Henry County going in a different direction than where we're going today. Currently, industrial is the entire focus of this county. Warehousing, distribution, semi-trucks, we have millions of trucks running through this county on a daily basis, just killing our infrastructure. We have warehouses being developed and constructed in the middle of neighborhoods. Those warehouses started south, but now they're moving north. And people are now starting to feel the impact of having semi-trucks running through their communities. A lot of people are deciding to move out of Henry County, but I would say hold on, because we have a different vision for Henry County. The vision is in place, it's been in place since 2010. And it started in North Henry County with the development of a health and wellness community. Everyone said North Henry County could not be developed because it was landlocked. No one had the vision of improving the road infrastructure. No one had the vision of connecting Fairview Road and Anvil Block, giving you direct access to I-675. No one had the vision putting Village Park where they tried to put the Walmart and semi-truck parking lot. Someone did have a vision of putting a semi-truck parking lot across the street from the Kroger Plaza, which is now Village United Soccer Park. No one had the vision of putting eight-foot multi-use trails alongside all the roads in North Henry County. Now you see that vision taking place throughout the entire county. No one had the vision of an overlay district, creating development standards throughout the county for our major corridors. No one had that vision but us. Over the years, we fought for office-based corporations to come to our county. We tried to work with the Development Authority on a proposal that would be the second headquarters for Amazon to Henry County. No go. Henry County Development Authority build spec warehouse buildings on a regular basis around the county. That's why when you look at all these warehouses, a lot of them are empty. They're spec buildings. Why can't we build spec office space? Why? Henry County has the demographic. We're right on I-75. We have the most freeway interchanges. We can be that county. Henry County also has a beautiful rural community that needs to be preserved. The areas along I-75, the incorporated areas, those areas are ripe for future development. Good development, not just any development, not substandard development, but good development, similar to you see in Gwinnett, Cobb, North Fulton. The great thing about the southeast portion of Atlanta is that a lot of that growth is moving from East Atlanta towards North Henry County. And with that growth comes opportunity. And we see opportunity to develop an anchor, to develop around the Atlanta Motor Speedway. 
they're one of the largest taxpayers in the county. There is a tremendous development in the process called The Grove. And that development is a mixed-use development around Talmadge Lake that will assist the area around the Atlanta Motor Speedway to become more prosperous. It will become an economic hub for the county, bringing walkability, quality of life, and you will get a Lake Lanier type of feel. Office-based commercial establishments will help keep 70% of our workforce right here in Henry County, and they will no longer have to go north to Atlanta for work. Our target should be corporations, your Amazons, your Microsoft, your Googles. There is no reason for those companies not to want to be here in Henry County. You have to have advocates at the state level, you have to have advocates at the county level in order to attract those type of corporations. We have to believe our standards have been the warehouse communities. If our standards have been that low for many years, we need an influx of new people that have higher expectations and higher standards for Henry County. You have a number of wonderful communities uh, in and around Henry County that will benefit from great development. We have to believe in ourselves. With the countywide trail system from Panola Mountain State Park expanding throughout the county, we've done it. There are a number of developments along Anvil Block and West Village Parkway that, that had their finger on the trigger, ready to move. The countywide moratorium, which wasn't a very smart move, hurt communities that needed to grow. Commissioners are responsible for their own district and they can tell the developer, no, we don't want this here. But you elected that commissioner and that commissioner represents you. So if that commissioner is listening to his community, his or her community, and they move forward with a project, more than likely it's a project that most people in that community wanted. There's opportunity throughout Henry County. We just have to find the right opportunities and we have to ensure that we go in the right direction. Warehouse and industrial is not it. Semi-trucks tearing up our infrastructure is killing us. The county and the taxpayers will end up paying out more money via taxes than they will ever benefit from, from their return on investment. In 30 years, those communities with all the industrial will be ghost town. We have to find a new way of moving this county forward. And the first step is to invest in our infrastructure, to invest in sewer, invest in roads, and invest in everything we need that will help us sustain. We have to build a sustainable county, and currently we're going in the wrong direction. Work with me to help move this county forward and move Henry County in a direction that will benefit our communities for generations to come. Thank you for joining me. And please re-elect Bruce B. Holmes as the next District 2 Commissioner of Henry County.